All right. Hello, you guys, and welcome. And thank you, first and foremost, for being here. I know that we live busy lives and we take time out of our lives for this moment. So we're grateful that you guys are here. And we're really excited to be able to share with you guys our stories and why we are very passionate and how we maybe landed here and just kind of what we love most about this company and where we feel maybe our own personal story is going and what um, really what we want out of this company as a whole. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tommy Nicole. I am a mother of three and I fell into this company by complete accident. And when I say accident, it was a God accident. Um, I was a part of another company that I loved and I didn't intend on going anywhere. I mean, I just really thought that's where God had placed me for a reason. I couldn't understand why my business wasn't growing, but hindsight, we see later his, his full picture, you know, after we've walked through that, but he made connections through that previous business. And as many of you know, um, COVID has hurt a lot of people and we were no exception. Um, it really rocked our finances. And so therefore I was just looking for an avenue to increase and help as a stay at home mom, um, help my husband, you know, find a way to ease the burden that he was carrying. And so I, um, was just really following God's direction for my life and started looking for, um, companies to host an vendor event. And I just, I had no desire to really do vendor events, but when God says to do something, you just do it. And so I had seen this name floating around Topanga. I'd never heard of it. Didn't even know what it was. And I posted on my Facebook um, feed for a Topanga rep to contact me and one person tagged another person. And so I reached out to the person they tagged and she never got in touch with me. So one day I look in my inbox and my upline, my friend Heather had messaged me and she said, you know, I sell Topanga. And I'm like, no girl, I don't even know what it is. And so there, the rest kind of rest is history. But when I tell you that I started this business, I had no money to buy into it. So I didn't buy into it. Three days into promoting this business, I had earned more money than I had the entire year from the previous company was I was in. So I knew God had something planned for this company and this, and for me in this business. And so I share that with people because sometimes we're very hesitant to walk through a door to really um, maybe take a chance on something, especially something we know nothing about. I had no clue about laundry detergent. I mean, luxury laundry detergent. Let me just put that out there. Um, laundry detergent, yes, because we use it daily, but I didn't even know there was such a thing. And so I was promoting something I didn't even know about you guys. But when a door is open for us to walk through, it's it's meant to be there for a purpose. And so with that being said, when I landed in this company, I got an opportunity to meet the owners right out of the gate. And I can tell you that it's very big on my heart to be a part of something that is very genuine, that is um, for the people, and that is um, going somewhere with a bigger impact. I don't want to just be a part of something that is just collecting dollars and doesn't care about its people. And so to meet the owners, Seth and Aaron, and to understand their vision for this company, it just kind of grabbed a hold of my heart and it grabbed a hold of something that um, I didn't know was within me. I'm a very big community person. You can show me flashy cars. You can show me big trips and stuff like that. But when you talk to me about community, that's where my heart lights up is because I love to meet amazing, driven, positive women. And this company is full of that, to be honest with you. So with that being said, I'm going to kind of pause, pause all that there. And I'm going to introduce you guys to my, my partner in crime tonight, Miss Madeline. Um, we call her mama Madeline. I love her to pieces. I had an opportunity to meet her in my previous company, but she's just always been a light in my life. And I couldn't be more blessed to be doing this with her tonight. So I'm going to turn it over to her and let her share her story and a little bit more about the company. Go ahead, Miss Madeline. Okay. Thanks. Oh gosh. I'm so glad to be here. Um, so it's kind of similar story, but a little bit different because I'm certainly at a different area in my life as far as timing goes, you know, because I am an, a mom, a grandmother and all the things. And so my vision is more focused on retirement, making life simple, doing easy things. And so, um, but I, I was once the mom with all the kids, you know, I have eight children and I know what it's like 
with the hustle and bustle and all the things. And so I love that this business is so suitable for so many different types of women. Um, so anyway, uh, our mutual friend, Heather, um, who I also had met in our previous company, had approached me to look at the product when it was being mixed on, you know, in the kitchen, on the kitchen table <clears throat> and sent me samples. And like you, I had never really purchased luxury laundry soap because I had eight kids and it would have been sinful <laughs> to do. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I was like, oh, well, that's, that's pretty cool. And my husband is highly opposed to anything that smells too strong, too good. Okay. Cause he's simple man. Don't put all the frou-frou stuff. Like I never even buy perfume. That's just, ugh. he's like, Oh, what do you have on? You know? So that made it even more of a no. And so she's like, okay, well I tried. Well then later my daughter, um, Haley decided that she wanted to give it a go. And so she signed up under Heather and she's like, mom, could you please sign up under me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Haley, I'll do that. I'll do that because I would like to see you succeed and I'll definitely love to mentor you through this. So we teamed up and I did sign up under Haley. And as it turns out, it was a, a blessing for her and it was a blessing for me. Um, and the company that I was with previously, I had, had hit a struggle bus on at some point and this has certainly like taken the place of and surpassed where I was. And so it was definitely a very good choice. And so now my laundry smells great. My husband is adjusting to the good smells. <laughs> he even has a favorite Calabasas Breeze is Ricky Boudreaux's favorite. Um, but I love the products. And I also want to mention that I do have a small salon in my home. And um, I only work part time. My daughter also works in the salon. And my customers love it. I, you know, Heather encouraged me to stock a little bit of inventory. I was highly opposed to that too. Didn't want to invest money on shelving, you know, do, you know, having things sitting on shelves, but it really doesn't sit on the shelves every, every month. My orders rotate, they sell, I order another order, but my customers love it. They can come in. Those that don't order directly from the website, they just pick up what they need when they sit in the chair and go, oh, and remind me I need to get whatever and whatever and let me try that new scent. So it's actually been fun. It's actually been, and I don't wanna say easy, but it's the easiest thing I've ever done to create a business and a, and a lifestyle and the camaraderie and all. Um, it's, it's taken very little effort. Now I do work it. I do work it like a serious business. And I think that some people might get turned off and be afraid that I don't want to work a business or if I sign up, I, you know, I just want to dabble. I just want the discount. And that's fine because anybody can do it any way they like. But what I like about it is that it's a repeat purchase. You know, it's a residual income they want to buy it again and they want to try a different scent next month. They want to give it as gifts. And I, I don't have to sit and figure out anything. They just say what they like and then they order it. So it's been, it's been easy in that, in that sense. So. I, I love that you share that because, you know, we, we have another little thing that we put together occasionally for um, kind of a recruiting tool. But in there, we I talk a lot about whether you're a hobby distributor, a full-time distributor, or just kind of that person that wants the discount. And, you know, I think a lot of people come in at different levels and once they catch on, um, it can shift. And for me personally, I mean, really when I started this, it was just to hope that I can make a little more extra income and quickly within a matter of weeks, it was like, I can't manage both businesses. So this became my full-time business. So it's really, you know, you, it's really what works for each and every person. And I, I love that you talked on that. And I... <laughs> guess who that is <laughs> um so, so with that being said too I wanted to say Calabasa Breeze that that's his favorite I love that because I love it for the girls and I feel like I mean it just shocked me that that's something that is his favorite so I had to touch yeah, I know but he loved it you know like you walked in the house I think the first thing I had was the cleaner and I had cleaned the kitchen counter and he's like now what's that smell I like that one <laughs> like, oh <laughs> lord please make a detergent you know <laughs> I so. I want to touch just a little quick on the product side of things. Um, you know, 
we're in an age right now where a lot of people are very more health conscious. Um, I've always been with food and different things like that, but to actually think about what you know, goes around me. I think when you have small children, you have a tendency to think more along those lines, just because, you know, they're trying to get into cabinets and different things, but this has really opened my eyes. Um, I, for me too, when I first got the detergent, I had really been struggling with my front load washer with the smell that comes out of a front load washer. I was one of those people that got suckered into it and the smell was atrocious. I couldn't get rid of it. I don't care how hard I cleaned it. I don't care what I did, um, what I ran through it, bleach, vinegar, all the stuff, the special cleaning tools. But when I finally started using this detergent and gave it one good clean, I was in shock of how the smells went away. And for me, I think it found that our detergent is plant-based. Um, it doesn't have the thickeners that most detergents have. It's, it's almost like a water base. And so to compare that, I guess when you pour those thickeners in, it had the tendency to build up because I found a little cubby in my front load that was just caked with blue and white and it was brown, had turned brown. And so for me, I knew that's where that smell was coming from. But once I was able to start using Topanga, I no longer had that issue. So I just like to talk on that because I think a lot of times we get stuck on, um, you know, get stuck on, I guess, the good and the bad of it or the price the price point of it. And with that being said, also, you know, our detergent and our cleaners and our fabric sprays can be used in a multitude of ways. Madeline, is there certain ways that you use them more than just detergent and fabric sprays? Um, you know, my daughter brought over her Bissell Crosswave and we tested it out on my tile in my kitchen. And I liked that it was cleaning and sucking up the dirty water at the same time. I like that effect. So yes, I could see where other, you know, people that have those types of, you know, if, you know, gizmos in their house, mm -hmm. with, that would be an advantage. Um, so uh, like, I, I really think I would like to get one because I would like to continue to clean the tile that way. That way. Yeah. I, um, before we, I moved into a camper, we had a, a robot, an iRobot, and I would spray that filter in the iRobot to, mm -hmm. to put out that scent too. And I would spray our air filters in the ceiling with yes. the spray just to keep this thing rolling in and out just to, cause I like the smell of them obviously, but. Um, yes, I definitely do that. Yeah. So you guys, this was really short and sweet. I, I just want to, um, I know Madeline and I both just want to share our hearts and put this out there for each and every person, because you never know who somebody's going to relate with. So if you're watching this and you have questions or if somebody invited you to watch this, please get back with them and just connect with them and just ask all the questions. And if you have questions for Madeline and I, please reach out to us. Um, we're both open books and we would love to answer any questions you might have. Um, Madeline, do you have anything you want to close with? Nope, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> All well, thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Bye. Thanks.